Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Alex and today we're diving into something super helpful for anyone running unrated home or the office, setting up reverse proxies. Now, if you've ever wanted to access your Docker application securely from outside of your network, this is the video for you. We're gonna be walking through the process of setting up a reverse proxy, configuring it step-by-step, step, and finally, we'll test it with a couple of applications so that you can access them from anywhere. I'll break it down all in a way that's easy to follow, even if you're just getting started with Unrain and Docker. By the end of this video, you'll have your applications accessible and secure, ready for outside of your home or office. All right, everyone, let's jump right into this. So we're gonna be setting up a reverse proxy to uh, an application that you may want to access outside of your network. Uh, this is gonna give you the basic tools in order to get this set up and working for you. Now, one of the things that you need to know is that, uh, well, a couple things. We need, you need to have a couple things uh, ready to go in order to uh, start using this. So the first thing you're gonna need is to find out what your publicly available IP address is. Now that's either going to be a dynamic or static IP and that's provided to you by your internet service provider. And the way you find that out is you just open up a browser and you go to the website whatismyip.com. That's going to give you a, uh, an answer to that question and it'll even let you know if it's static or a dynamic IP address. Now what are the differences between those? A static IP is one that's given to you by your internet service provider and that it does not change. And if it does change, they'll actually give you a notice before it does. The second one is your dynamic IP address. Now that is one that is just uh, handed out whenever your router connects to the internet service provider you subscribe with. So if, if for instance, you have a power outage, uh, that's you know, a couple hours long, it, 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 when, when that service is reconnected, uh, you will most likely have a new IP address. So that could cause you a little bit of headaches, especially if you're away from home and you need to access that thing that's uh, on your network and uh, your dynamic IP address has changed. Um, now, myself, I have actually had the same dynamic IP address for about two years. So uh, the next thing you're going to need access to is uh, your router settings. So uh, if you have an ISP issued router, you're going to want to find the little white sticker that typically has your Wi-Fi name and password on it. And that will have your, uh, your login uh, credentials for the administration side of your router. And typically they'll provide the IP address that you'll need to go to to access it. The last thing that you're going to need is, of course, a domain name. So what I've done is I've included a, uh, a link to uh, a free provider. Uh, I believe you do have to go in every one or three months and renew the domain. Um, however, I do not suggest using their hosting unless you're paying for it. Uh, just get a free domain name with DNS settings. That's all you need to, in order to make this work. All right, so this is actually my third attempt recording this video. The last one I did, uh, I actually got through to the end. However, when I opened OBS back up, I noticed that I left the notes on the screen the entire time. So that was fun. Okay, so we're gonna head to our Unraid machine. Uh, I just wanna give a little heads up here. I'm gonna be working off two Unraid instances. Uh, the one we're going to be installing the proxy manager on uh, is just an example machine. Uh, it's, a, it's a test bench essentially, and uh, I only use it for recording videos. I already have a reverse proxy running on my network, and uh, once I show you how to get this installed and uh, set up, we're then going to jump over to my main uh, Unraid server, better known as Death Star, and uh, we're going we're gonna, to use that in order to get an application online. Now, the application that we're gonna bring online is called WeatherStar, and it's a service that I'm actually gonna leave available for everyone to try out. Uh, it is a live Docker instance that I'm running on my server, and um, as long as it's not abused, I will, uh, I'll leave it up. It's a retro weather network style application that 
Uh, I constantly have running on my top monitor in my office and um, it's really grown on me. It's, uh, it's only for American weather stations. Um, however, if you live in Canada like I do, you can often find, uh, well, the lower parts of Canada, uh, you can often find a weather station that, um, uh, you know, will be relevant to your location. Um, okay, so we're just going to jump over to Unraid now. We're going to head on over to the community applications. And we're going to search for an application called NGINX Proxy. And we'll just search for that. And we're going to grab this one here with the rocket. Now, one thing I need you to take note of is the username and password in order to set this up. So the username is going to be admin at example.com. And the password is going to be change me. So we'll go ahead and install. The next thing you're going to need to take note of is the ports we need to forward uh, from our router. So we're going to be forwarding port 80 to 1880 and port 443 to port 18443. So we'll go ahead and we'll let this install. pretty quick. Okay, that's done. Then we're going to jump into the web user interface and we're going to do the admin at example.com and the password of change me. So we'll I'm just using a dummy email address. This is just an example. And then we're going to need to update the password. And then we'll head on over to the dashboard. Now, we're not going to be messing with redirection, streams, or 404 hosts. We're just going to hop right into proxy hosts. Now, we don't have a proxy host set up yet. So what we need to do is get a little bit of information in order to figure out what application and requirements uh, in order to get that forwarded. Before I get any further though, what I should show you is the settings you're going to need to jump into on your router. So I'm going to head over to my router settings. Jump into my Unify dashboard. And I'm going to head on over to settings and then security and then port forwarding. So as I mentioned, I already have a proxy manager set up on my, um, on my uh, Death Star server. And you can see here it's at 121 and it is for forwarding port 80 and 443 from the great old interwebs to the two ports mentioned on the uh, Docker that we installed. So next thing we're going to have to do is set up an A record on our web host. So what you're going to need to do is get into the C panel of whatever hosting provider uh, that you've chosen to go with. And you're going to need to get into your zone editor. Now you can either jump into manage or you can just add an A record. What we're going to do is just add an A record. Now I like to do this before I set up the, the proxy host on the NGINX proxy manager just to make sure that it's out of the way and done. So the way we do that is we're going to pick a subdomain name. Uh, in this case we're going to be using weather familyio.ca and then we're going to put in our publicly available IP address. What you'll need to do is head over to what is my IP and you're going to need to copy and paste the IP address that you're given uh, into the address section of uh, this window here. So if let's say my server had a you know this was its publicly available IP address then that's what we would put in there and then we would click add an A record. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to my Death Star server and we're going, going to pick the weather application. So let me just head over to Docker. And here's the program. And we see here it's port 1515. 
So we'll head to our proxy manager. We're going to add a proxy host and we're going to add the domain name that we created as an A record on our, uh, our zone editor. So that was weather.familyio.ca. And then we're going to click add. We're going to put in the IP address of our server and then the forwarding port, 1515. And then we're going to click save. All right, so now this is publicly accessible from the internet. So, so this is what I've made available on the internet now. So if we go over to weather.familyio.ca, that's it. So this is open and available for you to use. You go ahead and uh, set this up for, for uh, yourself if you want to leave it in a browser somewhere, just run it in the background. Um, I have found that this application does not typically like Safari. Um, but anyways, uh, that's, like, that's pretty much it. Like This is an extremely simple thing to do. It's, it's, it's literally that simple. Yeah, you know, I actually thought this was going to be a lot longer of a video. Um, however, uh, I don't think it needs to be. It, it doesn't need to be overcomplicated. Um, Libra Photos, if you wanted to access that, it's simple. You just port forward 3000. Like, that's it. And this is a secure application. Um, like it, it does support uh, a secure uh, socket layer communication. Um, you know, Ombi, uh, again, Home Assistant, yes. Like, all we need to do is just forward these one, this one port and it's, we just think of a subdomain name and we, we create an A record for it. It's, it's really, really simple. So, we're just going to leave it at that. Um, yeah. Yeah. I am not an expert. I am self-taught. I just want to make that clear. Uh, and I don't edit these videos. You know, I may cut some ums and ahs out of them, but I don't, I don't, I don't delete anything out. You know, if I screw up, you know, it's there for you guys to see, you know, it's, it's, as I've stated in previous videos, you know, if, if I'm not being transparent and honest and, and, um, be able to make mistakes in front of you guys, then, you know, how's everyone else supposed to learn? You know, at the end of the day, like, I'm not perfect. I'm just some clown with a camera and a microphone, you know, and uh, a green backdrop to, to make these videos somewhat presentable, you know? Um, yeah, like, yeah, I mean, I'm not an expert. I'm self-taught, you know? Uh, I, I relied on uh, a patchwork of YouTube videos that, you know, I could barely make any sense of, which is what encouraged me to, to put these videos out. Um, my apologies to the uh, commenter in my previous video who asked for uh, a way to access rsync um, outside of their network. Uh, I had every intention of uh, getting to that. Um, however, um, I just don't think I can today. Um, this is my third attempt at making the video, and and uh, I'm 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 uh, I I think it could have been better. So um, I'm gonna put this up for now. I have a feeling I'm gonna take this video down because I'm I'm uh, just not feeling the greatest about it. At the end of the day, NGINX Proxy Manager makes it extremely easy for anyone to be able to access their Docker instances uh, outside of the network. If you're feeling brave, you could probably do an RDP instance as well. I want to make these videos as simple as possible. I don't want to leave much room for error, but when there is error, I don't have a problem with showing it. Uh, I'm happy to admit that uh, I am not perfect. I, I screw these things up left, right, and center, and this has been an ongoing project for over eight years. Um, you know, I, I saw a Linus Tech Tips video about uh, Unraid and, you know, how simple it is to set up. And, you know, I jumped into it, you know, with a, with a brain that was seven years younger and uh, found it super simple and intuitive to jump into. But then over the years, I actually started seeing more and more people complaining that they didn't understand how to use it. Uh, it was more intimidating than um, uh, TrueNAS. And 
Whereas I actually find uh, I don't know how to use TrueNAS. I have absolutely zero clue. I've tried setting it up on multiple occasions and got frustrated and just walked away. Uh, however, I didn't Google how to do it either. I just kind of went full on and, and tried to figure it out. But uh, it's never worked and uh, I don't think I'm ever going to go back to it. Maybe in the very, very distant future, I might jump into it, you know, when I'm retired from my full-time job as a healthcare administrator. But for now, I'm going to leave you guys with the uh, very basic proxy manager setup. Um, I'm, I'm going to do a follow-up video to this or just a complete redo because I'm, I'm just not feeling it. Um, but the, the instructions that I have given you are uh, workable and um, you're, you are able to get set up and running. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that. I feel like I've wasted people's time. I hope you have learned something from this. Give a like, <laughs> give a subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. There should be a follow-up, hopefully in the next week. Um, jumping into a little bit more uh, detailed side of things. Um, but I'm going to leave it at that for now. Um, check out my other videos. I've got a playlist of Unraid tutorials for beginners. Um, if uh, if you want to give that a look over, um, I, I, I would think that there is something useful for everyone there um, that's getting into Unraid. So, <sighs> all right, everyone. So that wraps up the video on uh, NGINX Proxy Manager. Very simple, very basic. Uh, there's, uh, you know, something for everyone here that can can get an application up and running using the tools I've provided. Um, give a like, give a subscribe, uh, leave, a, leave a comment if you'd like to see something else. Uh, to the commenter from my previous video who asked for a way to access his rsync outside of the home network, I apologize. I feel like I kind of botched that. Um, I will be doing another, uh, um, another network video on how to access your network uh, using a VPN which we can also set up using Unraid. So give a like, give a subscribe, uh, check out the uh, other Unraid videos I got up and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye everyone.